Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Waldron. Today I'm going to talk about tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. This is often this pain along the outside of the elbow and a lot of people get it even if they're not a tennis player. So in this video today, I'm going to talk about what it is, what causes it, and how we fix it. I hope you enjoy. What is tennis elbow? It's this pain on the outer side of the elbow that typically in orthopedics is referred to as pinching of the tendons that run from the muscles here. There's a middle tendon between two others that gets squeezed from repetitive activity of extending the wrist and that cuts off blood flow to where that tendon junctions in here on the outer elbow. That can cause a lot of pain, especially as you continue to do whatever activity is causing it, whether it's using your mouse at work or holding your phone or even playing tennis or gardening or something with your wrist extended like this, reaching, twisting, turning, and putting too much strain on those structures. But oftentimes I see people, they've been getting treated for this and it's been lasting longer than six to eight weeks and they're still not getting better with stretching it and doing different things. And I'm always interested in asking if they've had treatment to assess whether the pains may be generated from the shoulder or from the neck. So it's important you get a thorough evaluation from your doctor or your physical therapist. What causes tennis elbow or this lateral elbow pain? This is a, often a difficult thing to answer for people because there's sometimes multiple things causing the issue. However, it's mostly, like I said earlier, a repetitive wrist extension position, the sustained sitting at a desk, oftentimes poor posture with, with the back and the neck, and so you may get a combination of things from the neck, from the shoulder, and the elbow all generating this pattern. And so it's important for us to address all those things sometimes, especially if you're not getting relief with your current treatment plan, that we do correct the posture, correct what's going on in the neck, and assess some of these things. The other thing I often notice is that people have done so much activity palm down that they lack this mobility to turn their hand all the way over and they go to do it and they substitute through the shoulder. So I like to look at keeping that elbow in. Can they twist all the way palm up and have that mobility? Because these muscles can get tight between these two bones, the radius and ulna, and then we lose this spinning ability. Correcting that and how this bone rolls here up in the elbow is quite helpful in addition to bending the elbow and extending the elbow all the way. So we need to assess all these different joints and how they function in addition to can there be pain generated from the shoulder because they have this forward shoulder posture and head posture and we need to get those sitting back so the nerves and blood vessels running out of this area going down to the elbow can properly do what they need to do and get these muscles turning on and functioning correctly. How do we fix the elbow pain? I've talked a little bit already about correcting your posture and your mechanics and, and limiting some of those repetitive activities that are causing the pain in the first place. Those are really important, but here are some exercises you can also do to get some relief. Often with the posture, how do I fix my posture? So a simple exercise for that is to get against the wall with your back and you're gonna bring your arms up and then you're just gonna do like you're making this touchdown motion. This stretches the front of the chest and then it also strengthens the mid back muscles between the shoulder blade. So just going up and down like so can start to correct some of that posture and strengthen through there. Additionally, a second exercise is that sometimes these shoulder blade muscles are a little bit weak in the back. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with the wall, but oftentimes we could lie down and do this. You're gonna put your forehead against the wall, press one hand in the wall and lift off the other. So you just get against the wall and then you're gonna go ahead and lift off and then push it back down. Push into the wall here, lift off. Good, push here, lift off. Make sure you're not shrugging your neck but you're keeping those shoulder blades anchored down. And then you can do 10, 15, whatever is meaningful here. Making sure you're not getting increased pain generated from somewhere else. So just do what you can without discomfort and work on those muscles. More specifically, into the elbow, we may need to work a little bit on our rotation. I like people to come in and put their hand underneath their wrist and then grab the bone out here. Be careful you don't grab that pulsating artery when you do this. And then you're just gonna pry that open and feel that nice stretch 
in the forearm as you do this motion. This is another excellent exercise. So you're coming in and you're basically, this is not spinning well, so you're grabbing with your fingers and pressing with your thumb at the same time to stretch that palm in an upward fashion. I'm not cranking my shoulder out, but I'm just keeping it right here to fix this lack of twisting over. The next thing that's, that's helpful, you may have been stretching. I see people come in there like, I'm stretching on the wall, I'm doing all this. But the sequence, because this is a long muscle, matters. So if you're going in stretching and your elbow's straight, then you bend your wrist, the pull is more at the wrist. But if I start here and bend my elbow and bend the wrist first, and then second, I extend, now the stretch is in the elbow at the area where the bulk of the muscle is. So it's important that you make sure you do this. Bent elbow, second wrist, then straighten so you can get a stretch at the elbow. Okay, the last thing is we know strengthening is important in the elbow. And oftentimes people may have done some repetitive activities and they're weak in one direction. And that's why it's important to get some guidance from a physical therapist or your doctor to go ahead and figure out where you're weak. We often go through and do and this is supported with the elbow bent. We could do some wrist extension. I have people as a target aim for their middle knuckle or their third finger going up the center of the wrist. So you don't square up the weight to your surface. The weight will be at a little bit of an oblique angle. And then the middle finger going up and you're extending, keeping that supported going up. And then you go down slowly up and then take twice as long to go down. So we get this eccentric or lengthening contraction that's helpful. You can also do some twisting over and back. If you don't have a weight, you could use a water bottle. People sometimes use a hammer and put some ankle weights on the end and roll it over and back. Just what you can without, ba you know, without any pain or, or too much weight on there. And then the last thing that's gained some popularity over the last eight years are these TheraBands. Just like you have the exercise bands, we have a TheraBar or exercise bar. And so this creates a bit of resistance. This exercise is called a Tyler twist. So we go ahead and wind up here on the left one, and then I go ahead and unwind it there. So often we start with the bar vertical. I twist it up, okay? Put my arm straight and unwind. So bar is vertical, twist it with the top hand, straighten, and then unwind. So we're getting multiple components of strengthening as we're doing this and unwinding that slowly. Wind it up on the top, extend, and then unwind it. And that's a nice way to kind of strengthen those muscles. Today we've discussed what tennis elbow is, what causes it, and how you fix it with correcting your posture and went through a few exercises that are helpful for it. There are several things that could be going on in the neck and other areas, so I encourage you if you have numbness, tingling, or pain that is not resolving, that you do reach out to your physician or your physical therapist and get a thorough evaluation to try and fix it. But these are some of the common causes and reasons for it. So I hope you find this video helpful. And if you enjoy this, please share this with your friends and family members. Thanks for watching.